The Film Review, available now on BBC iPlayer. Follow the story, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can follow every moment in depth with BBC News. Get the full story at bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Get the headlines as they happen with the breaking news alert. And keep up with events by watching the BBC News channel in the app. Follow the story wherever you are with BBC News. Welcome to Newsday on the BBC. I'm Sharon Jutlail in Singapore. The headlines. A shooting in Florida. Three people are dead after a gunman opened fire during a video game tournament in Jacksonville. The single suspect in this case is a white male. And this is pending confirmation, but we believe the suspect to be 24-year-old David Katz from Baltimore, Maryland. Pope Francis returns to Rome after his visit to Ireland. He says he'll pursue justice for victims of abuse committed by the Catholic Church. And I'm Lequesta Burak in London, also in the programme. Australia's new Prime Minister announces his first cabinet, but can he heal the deep divisions within his government? A mass grave in Sri Lanka's former war zone in the northwest of the country. Dozens of skeletons have been unearthed. Live from our studios in Singapore and London. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. Well, good morning. It's 8 a.m. here in Singapore, 1 o'clock in London and 8 p.m. in the U.S. state of Florida, where there's been a mass shooting at a video game tournament in the city of Jacksonville. The sheriff's office has confirmed three people are dead, one of them the gunman. Fourteen other people were injured. The gunman is believed to have been at the tournament and has been named as 24-year-old David Katz from Baltimore. A few minutes ago, the mayor of Jacksonville spoke to the press.